um, I think we should probably go through all of his questions or all of his pieces yeah, together. Okay. Exactly. So the first one says, uh, I'm writing a paper on the fourth industrial revolution and using recent technology to answer questions of Christians and non-Christians. Next part. Thankfully, my my friend Bibleask is a big part of this paper. Can you share with me your idea of the importance of Q&A and the Bible verse that you keep in mind as you conduct Q&A. Thank you always. And then next part. I think he just said, always hope. Hello. Uh, it says, I, I'm writing this as an assignment for my college oh. class, Missions in Contemporary Society. Thank you always for answering our questions. And thank you so much for encouraging us. For sure. So to kind of go back, back um the question is can you share with me your idea on the importance of q a and the bible verse that keeps keeps you in mind i know we have like 15 seconds so we have to wrap this up pretty quick we're running out of time but um yeah just i don't know jay do you want to, to address that first oh i thought that would be a, a question for you to answer oh okay great i can do that too that's fine i just I, you look like you had the lead oh no of like, I, I, gonna say I was just looking at some of the other questions i want to get you to <laughs> yeah no it's okay um i know there's so many great questions that we have like and so many great questions our audience out there is giving us tonight so i'm just i'm i'm bummed that we're, we're out of time but i do want to do a lightning you. round i can like really quick quickly answer some of the the other ones all right. Well, let me lightning this real quick. So just to answer what you're 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 asking us, Sean, um, can you share with me your idea on the importance of Q and A and the Bible verse? So the importance of Q and A is, you know, God tells us to be ready um, always to give him an answer to anyone that asks for the hope that is in you. And so I would say that's probably, you know, um, the the essence of, you know, Bible asks. Now the the roots of our ministry. It, we didn't start off as a ministry that answered Bible questions. Um, we were, or the founder of our ministry, um, who's not one of us three, um, who's our director, you know, they were hoping to just have a directory of truth in on the internet so that people could understand that there is a God, that, that there is an existence of God, and to just be a source for that. And so, but as, you know, time went on, there was just so many questions that came up, people having searching for truth. And so that was the development of this ministry. And so, um, you know, that, I would say that's more the, um, the, the importance of Q&A is, you know, as people search for God, questions happen and you, there needs to be a, you know, a resource out there to answer those questions, to come to a knowledge of God. And so, um, you know, the verse I would say that, that practically supports this is first Peter three fifteen. like I said, but sanctify, and it really does start with this, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. So first having God in us, you know, in our hearts, living in us and through us, and this, and then the verse goes on to say, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason for the hope that is within, that is in you with meekness and fear. And really and truly, you know, that's the work of evangelism, true evangelism. How are we supposed to share the gospel? How do we, you know, fulfill the great commission that Jesus says, go into all the world and, you know, teach them. It's like, it, it comes down to, you know, being willing to have the truth and to, to give it, you know, in the form of answering, you know, the need, which is the question out there. Um, because if, you know, if we're just saying things, it's kind of like, you know, it's not really filling a need, but if there's a question, the answer is fulfill the fulfillment of that need, pointing people, you know, to the truth, which is Jesus Christ. And we find that in the Bible and the Bible only. And so I, I guess that would, that would be how I'd answer that. Mm -hmm.